Hi there. Uh, this is a quick video just to show you how to easily bring photos into your uh, QDIS session. So what I've got here is a previous session where I had messed about with um, sort of HTML um, hovering and and that sort of thing um, and bringing up an HTML um, tooltip uh, etc. And certainly you can use that sort of thing and um, and go for it but, but it may not be appropriate. So I've got these points here um, like I said, which I've got in previous videos, which is just OpenStreetMap uh, theatres, selected theatres in, um, well, in Austria. One of the fields I've got here is my photo, which points to a very hard uh, location, but that could be a URL. Um, but as long as you can get to the location, um, you, you can you can put it in there. Um, and um, let's just look at the attribute table. So you can see it here. Okay, and and there's there's several ways of doing this. You know, you could have an uh, something to attach, um, sort of paint.net to this, or paint or something, just to display the photo. I'd actually like to display it in the feature form. So a good way of doing that is once you've got you know, you know all all these relative paths or whatever um, to your photo, go to the properties and um, go to fields. Um, sorry attribute forms is what I want, attribute forms. Click on the field that, where you've already populated your photo um, paths and change the widget type to an attachment. Uh, and just make sure the default path is what you want, um, which is when you're gonna actually add photos, but we've already got photos in there but when I add them, that's going to be my sort of default path. Um, and then what you want to change is the document viewer is image. You can specify the size, um, you know, to to whatever really, and uh, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. And um, and yeah, that's literally it. And now you'll see what happens. So I'll just apply that. Press OK. Now now let's see what happens when I click on one of these dots. I, I come up with the default identify results. You could force that into feature form, uh, which I'll do now. So let's view the feature form, and there's my picture. So and that's where it's that's the path it's using. Um, uh, it's already there. So you know, adding ones will will sort of prompt me for the path if you um, make it editable. So this is from a trip to Budapest a couple of years back. Let's choose look at this one, and there's that one. So you see how um, I, I'm calling up the image um, sort of manually, uh, which is what I wanted to do, but you can see it's attached. So if you wanted to edit these, this data, uh, toggle editing, and add a um, point and click, what happens now in the My Photo column is you get dot, dot, dot to browse and then you choose your photo. So I go to C, temp, photos, let's add that one, photo 14. So now I've attached that photo to that location where I clicked. So you see how this sort of, um, it was a text edit um, field, but now um, because of the widgets, I'll just cancel that for a second, but because the um, it's been changed to um, this widget type which is attachment that's given it all the power anyway i hope that helps um get you looking at um, your photos um very easily